Hello and welcome to the Franchise Marketing Show. The video or the podcast you're about to watch or listen to was recorded at the British and International Franchise Exhibition at Olympia. It was a very busy event, so there was a little bit of background noise, so it wasn't filmed in a recording studio or anything like that, but it is a really interesting conversation. Hope you enjoy it. Hi John, welcome to the Franchise Marketing Show. We are live from the British and International Franchise Exhibition. How are you finding it? Really good, yeah, we've been very busy today. Started very busy and it's actually continued in the same vein. So uh, yeah, having a good day. Excellent. So John, do you want to tell me who are you and where are you from? Yes, yeah, so my name's John Kent. Uh, I'm the Managing Director at the White Rose Finance Group. Um, our franchise brand is Broker Plan. Um, we are commercial finance brokers and we're building a network of brokers who want to report into us. Uh, we have currently around 120 brokers and we're trying to grow that to 250. Wow, that's a big, <laughs> big target that you're aiming for. We're not um, going to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> um, John, what's been the highlight of the exhibition? I know we're only on day one, but what's been the highlight of the exhibition for you so far? The highlight, without question, we've managed to speak to people that we've been in discussions with over the past few months and met them face to face whilst we've been here. We're based in North Yorkshire, so coming down to London is a real good opportunity to meet people who are based in the South East. And we've probably had half a dozen really good conversations with people that we were already talking to uh, who have confirmed they're uh, going to proceed uh, or we've just moved that process on. Excellent. So what would you say is the benefit of meeting with prospective franchisees face to face? It's massively important to us. Uh, we are a regulated industry, so we've got to know a little bit about the, the person and the people, and we want them to know more about us as well. So I have uh, my team with me today, my operations director and one of our relationship managers. So for people to get to meet us, have a conversation over a coffee, and just get to feel a better feel for each of us, uh, so it works for both parties. So face-to-face -face conversations are, are massively valuable compared to video calls or telephone calls. It's always better, isn't it, when you face to face with someone? Much better, yeah. much better. And how are you finding the quality of the conversations? Excellent. Um, not only have we met people that we're already in conversation with, um, but we've met some people that uh, didn't know about us, um, but they maybe have an interest or some link to financial services, a couple of residential mortgage brokers who are looking to diversify what they're already doing. So there's a natural add-on uh, to what they do by potentially joining us. So the quality of conversations has been really good today. That's really good. It's nice to hear that. Uh, you know, these kind of shows, you're never sure what the conversation is going to be like. No, indeed. We've been coming to franchise shows for seven or eight years now, and uh, uh, I think uh, we had some really, really good shows pre-COVID and then post-COVID for a year or so uh, it was less good um, but it seems to have built up a bit now, uh, more interest, um, more uh, frequency of visitors and, and more genuine interest so I think, it's, uh, I think the market's picking up for definite. So why do you keep coming back to the exhibitions? What we do is unusual uh, in a franchise, in the franchise world, because um, it's a it's a financial services product. Um, but what this allows us to do is to reach out to people who are looking maybe for a change in their lives that weren't aware that they could actually become a finance broker. So for us, there's huge benefit in educating people as to an alternative or an option that they weren't aware of beforehand. Okay. And do you find that there's a lot of people who are surprised by what you offer? Absolutely, yeah. Um, most people have a limited knowledge of the financial services world. The natural place for people to go when they want to borrow money is a high street bank. They don't necessarily understand there's another 200 to 300 lenders that we would have access to um, with the alternative funding market. So it's, it's quite eye-opening for people, particularly property professionals or business owners that have struggled to raise finance from their own bank. So from a broker perspective, it's a great, uh, uh, it's an eye-opener, it's a great opportunity, but also people that realize they could become a broker themselves and there's this whole market um, of alternative finance is, uh, is often uh, something they weren't aware of beforehand. So John, how did you get involved in franchising? Um, well, we looked at this as a, an opportunity to attract um, new people that, we, that didn't necessarily know about what we did. And we advertised on franchise platforms seven, eight, nine years ago. And that was a, it opened our eyes to the opportunity of people that were looking to find a new business. So 
from that initial uh, foray into the franchise world, we recognised it'd be a great opportunity to come to some shows, which is what we started doing, as I said earlier, about seven or eight years ago, and we've just continued to do that. So you find that there's a massive value in being an exhibitor at these exhibitions and being in front of people in that sense? Without question, yes. Um, to us, marketing our business, uh, we need to do it in multiple ways. So simply advertising online or hoping people find us on our website or through word of mouth, uh, we do generate interest that way. But this is just another way of getting uh, the, the brand out there, the name out there and connecting with people. Okay. And John, what does a, a typical broker world franchisee look like? It's an interesting question and it's changed over the years. Um, I've been recruiting people now for 10 years uh, and I think uh, that there's no longer, a, 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 I suppose, a typical franchisee because we attract people uh, who are much younger than we used to attract, uh, people that um, um, maybe don't necessarily have uh, the background, a financial services background, more sales and marketing, relationship building, people that are able to go and make connections with people. So uh, there's, there's not really a niche and, and we, we're open-minded to when we talk to people because actually uh, there's so many people that, that could fit the, uh, the profile. As long as they've got a professional um, approach, uh, they work with integrity uh, and they'll look after the customers um, because we are regulated by the FCA. So the, the, the customer outcome is the most important thing. Um, so it's a combination of those, uh, those factors. Okay, and what is a typical day for a franchisee? Um, it, it'll depend where they are in their journey. Early stages, you'll be looking to build out new connections and maybe um, st do networking, build out new opportunities uh, with clients, but also it's about connecting with people that can introduce business to you. So definitely a lot of marketing. Um, there is admin involved because uh, it, there's lots of information passing um, uh, between uh, the, the client uh, and, the, uh, and the franchisee. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose it's a, a combination of things, but generally working hard. <laughs> Always working hard. Always, yes. <laughs> um, what do you think sets you apart as a franchise offering? Um, we are operating in a regulated environment, so we have to, on that basis, work to a very high level of professionalism and, and integrity. Our training program uh, is accredited by the London Institute of Banking and Finance. Okay. That's the, the, the company, the organisation between CMAP qualifications, mortgage qualifications. So I think we're, we, we have to operate at a very high level, uh, and on that basis, the, the, anyone that comes to talk to us can have huge confidence that what they're getting is something which is credible um, and, uh, and, and high levels of integrity and professionalism. So you love what you do? Absolutely, yeah. What, what we really love what we do when people are successful um, and this business can be extremely lucrative. Um, generating £100,000 in fees on a single deal happens on a reasonably regular basis. So people can come to us, uh, invest in a franchise at a relatively low cost, but have huge, huge return on that if they are successful. So how does someone become a franchise with you? Or open a franchise with you? So we bring them through a, a fit and proper process in the first uh, instance. So we've got to do our due diligence on, on those people. Um, once we've brought them through that fit and proper process, we formally engage with them. We register them with the FCA, um, the Financial Conduct Authority, and then we have a training program um, which includes e-learning, classroom training, but then the support is ongoing uh, for as long as they need it. So we can actually source solutions on behalf of clients or we can teach them to do it themselves. Um, so it'll vary depending on people's background, uh, but quite formal, um, and, and, but very professional. And John, what do you love about the franchise industry? One of the things I really do love is when we come to these shows, there's so many people that we see show after show after show uh, that are all doing things in slightly different ways. Uh, you come across opportunities, ideas that you didn't even realize maybe existed. And we're all, we're all here for the same thing, outreaching, trying to find new people. But we're doing it in a, in a way in which we work together. So we might refer people across to another franchise uh, yeah. because you know, it's, it's an industry in, its, in itself. And you know, people work and respond to people. So we're, we're, we're no different. Okay. John, I've got two final quick fire questions for you. Within the franchise industry, who would you say that you admire and why? <laughs> right, okay, that's a, that's a curveball. <laughs> well, I'm going to say the person 
that, that springs to mind is Neelam, who looks after us and has looked after us uh, over the years. We've got an alarm going off there. They've heard the name Ne Neelam. <laughs> uh, Neelam's been looking after us for the past five, six years and has always been brilliant. I think she works for Venture Marketing. Um, and yeah, any, anything uh, that we ask, nothing's too much trouble. She looks after us, makes sure that we, we have the support and the service that we need, and she's always there. Okay, and on my final question, okay. if you were not involved in finance and you were going to start a franchise for yourself, what which sector would you go into? I love coffee. Um, <laughs> I'm, I really like black sheep. Um, so I, they, they, those guys don't know me, but uh, shout out to Black Sheep because the coffee's fantastic and I might go down that route. <laughs> Excellent. John, thank you so much for your time. really appreciate it. Thank you very much.